How do I use Chaseplane with Track IR? I've been having a lot of questions about about this uh, on the forums and on the support emails, so I'll tackle this one once and for all in a YouTube video, so you all know how it works from scratch. Um, so I have Track IR here. I downloaded the setup from the website. Um, current version is uh, 5.4.2. Uh, so we'll go ahead ahead and install that. Uh, you'll notice that I have um, I have P3D running in the background. You don't even need to shut it down for this to work. Uh, we're all going to do that live with the sim running. So you see, I have Track IR installed here. So an important thing to understand with Track IR is that naturally it will try to send data to the simulator directly. With Chaseplane, it's going to be a bit different. So what we want to do with Chaseplane is have TrackIR communicate its positions to Chaseplane, and then Chaseplane send the position with all the motion effects and, and the, pre the preset positions to P3D, instead of having TrackIR going to send directly to P3D. So that behavior is dictated by those two simconnect.manifest file. All right, so if those files are present in the directory, Track IR will send the data directly to Lockheed Martin P3D. What we've done with Chaseplane, when you launch it, Chaseplane will look for those two files and rename them accordingly. All right, so we have a CP underscore backup here. So those files are no longer read by Track IR to send their position uh, to P3D. So now, when you start Track IR, it will connect to Chaseplane directly instead. Um, now, it might not work for uh, it might not work the first time for everyone. All right, so we see here it's tracking, but it's not tracking the sim. The reason that is is because we're not we have not done the game updates yes uh, yet. So the way TrackIR works is that they push a, a, an executable on their website every once in a while. This version dates back to uh, 2016, somewhere in 2016. Uh, back in that time, um, Chaseplane was not even supporting Track IR. So what they're doing is that they're they're pushing those updates in a separate method. So basically, when you click on this, it's gonna it's gonna update the game the support game list. And when you launch Track IR after doing the update, we'll wait for it to shut down here. If you launch it again now. All right, it's minimized, so it's telling me that it's working. You see, we have the icon here, and everything is working perfectly. So you need to make sure that you have those updates done uh, before trying to connect uh, the, the motion tracking to Chaseplane. Um, you also want to make sure that in your camera settings here, in Camera and Advanced, your track IR is enabled. Because if, if this is disabled, it's not going to work in the sim. This is set for every preset, and it's on by it's enabled by default. Uh, if you want to enable it for every preset you have in your row of preset here, you simply right-click on it and you click Apply to every preset. Um, you might wa want to look also in the preferences under the Camera tab to make sure that um, TrackIR is enabled uh, globally. If you disable this, it's going to disable it across the entire system. All right. Uh, so that's basically all there is to it. It's very simple. It should work that way. And uh, if there's any issue or anything that uh, doesn't work according to what I've shown, uh, don't hesitate to press the need help and go on the forum to ask your questions. Or maybe it has already been answered. Make sure you have a look in there and uh, maybe someone already had an answer for you. So that's all and uh, enjoy your flights.